Forget everything you think you know about mobile gaming. Because Raid Shadow Legends is about to be... It's gonna raid your Shadow Legends. That doesn't make any sense. Real talk, though. Playroom actually did reach out to me, and they said, We know you're frustrated with Summoner's War right now. Why not do some Raid Shadow Legends promos? Why not play some Raid Shadow Legends? And I said... Why not play some Raid Shadow Legends? We have an account. We actually used to play this game for, I think, about a year and a half to two years. Somewhere around there. I might be off in my number. But we did. This is actually my account. Played it for a while. Got a bunch of stuff. Before we get into looking at all these things and all the shiny things that I was waiting. Last I remember, I was waiting for a balance patch on one of the Void Legendaries. So we're going to have to take a look to see if he actually got, uh, got balanced the way I wanted him to get balanced. But... Playroom is actually doing a promo right now for Raid Shadow Legends. It's the Summer Tavern event, and they are doing a special thing for new players where you get a legendary. It's new players, only new players. I, if you're returning, there's actually some goodies for you. But for new players, there is a legendary Monkey King that you can get, as well as Tayrel uh, Te and Rector Drath that you can get for just helping to start new player accounts. There's also some goodies, there's some uh, giveaways, there's... You know what, while I'm telling you guys about the uh, Summer Tavern event, let's do some dungeon runs. This way we see some gameplay while we're talking about stuff. Don't make fun of my Dragon's Lair team. Listen, it gets the job done, that's what really matters. And there's actually so many more levels of this dungeon, and more dungeons than there, uh, than there were the last time we were playing this religiously every single day. So, some of the things in the Summer Tavern event that uh, we want to talk about is there is an event with real-life prizes people can win. Gaming console, smartphone, Amazon gift cards, $5,000 total value, which is ridiculous. Legendaries, other in-game loot. Uh, you can participate in the Summer Tavern minigame June 10th through July 10th. You can download Raid using my link in the... Why am I pointing my face? Am I going to put the link over my face? <laughs> download Raid using this. It's a QR code. There's a QR code. There's the link. Download with uh, either of those. Um, go to HTTPS, SummerTavernPlayroom.com. The link is on the screen. I'm going to put the link on the screen. Enter your Raid ID. Start searching for hidden items to prepare a refreshing potion for a champion. Uh, also, and I think this one actually is even better than what I just said. There is a... Because that's, you know... you. You might win, you might not win. This one, you always win. As long as you can get to level 20 in the game. Can you get to level 20 in the game? I think you can. So, YouTube Premium free two-month subscription. Download Raid before July 17th. So, it gives you plenty of time to download Raid. Play, but download Raid now. Uh, play for at least five days. And hit... Can you do that? Play for five days. Hit level 20 within 30 days. And you get two months of YouTube Premium for free which I think is great. I have YouTube Premium myself because I'm on YouTube like 25 hours a day, at least, probably more than that. Uh, and this is this is something I've had for a long time, and I think everyone should at least be able to try out YouTube Premium. I think it's great. I'm surprised they actually partnered with YouTube Premium to do a two-month subscription. But uh, no complaints, and I would definitely recommend being involved in this Summer Tavern event for at least that. There's also, they didn't necessarily want me to talk about this next point, but I do want to mention it because I do think it's very cool. Speaking of YouTube, this I think is one of the coolest things that they didn't really mention too much about in terms of like, yeah, here's the things to talk about in the promo. I'm like, what about this? You have a whole series on YouTube, Call of the Arbiter. I, I think this is ridiculous. They put a lot of effort into this. Let's take a look at this right now. Why would I trust a human? Because it was her that sent us. It seems you have a higher calling. Our destinies are intertwined. Very cool. And this is a whole series. It's not just the one little teaser trailer of like, oh, play Raid Shadow Legends. It's the whole, 
the whole series. They put a lot of effort into this, and I don't know. They wanted me to talk about Sun Wukong in this promo, and don't get me wrong, Sun Wukong is a ridiculous unit. We're going to take a look at him right now, but I just feel like there's so much effort that was put into this series that I wanted to talk about this, even though they didn't mention to say, say anything about it or not. So let's take a look at this Sun Wukong. Oh no, this is this is our units. This is our units that we've collected over the the duration of the time that we've played. But the sun, what is he in? He's in uh, Skinwalkers, I believe. <laughs> they got some interesting units here as well. This is a new unit. This wasn't uh, this wasn't the game last uh, last time I was playing it. But the they got some quite uh, quite creative different character designs. Samson the Masher. Yeah, but we want to see Sun Wukong here. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, Sun Wukong, ridiculous unit as well. Uh, possibly even more ridiculous. He has, first off, speed lead in Arena, 28%. And this is a free unit. You get him for free. New players, get him for free. Uh, passive revives this champion with 100% HP and 100% turn meter three turns after they were killed. Not bad. I mean, speed lead already makes things meta. You know how these games work. Uh, we've got the stun skill, uh, skill 1. This skill uh, ignores 50% of the target's defense. Will attack all remaining enemies with any surplus damage if the target is killed. Uh, this attack will also ignore 50% of the target's defense. Cannot be critical. If the initial target survives, place a sheep debuff on them for one turn. This basically turns the unit into a sheep. So, and they can't they can't do their skills because they're a sheep. And then we have this one. Now you see us attacks all enemies, steals all buffs from enemies, and places a block buffs and debuff on them for two turns, damage based on attack. This is a free legendary unit that you get in the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. And they've since since we played years ago, they've added so much stuff. <laughs> they've added so much stuff. They've added uh this is, I believe, a new class that wasn't even around. Uh and they also this is mythical. Uh, units so which is like the next level so we have the the uh, uncommons the rares which rares are like three stars epics which are like four stars legendaries which are like five stars and then mythicals which are like six stars so <laughs> there, there you go we got mythical units in here there's a crap ton of new what well, is the campaign as well we already know what the campaign is there's the dungeons which, uh, there are some new dungeons since the last time we played. These two, uh, dungeons on the right-hand side are new. There's Faction Wars, there's Arena, there's Clan Bosses, there's the Doom Tower, there's the Cursed City, which I think it's going to give us a pop-up. Welcome to the Cursed City, and it's going to show us all the stuff in here. There is a ton of content in this game. A ton of content. <laughs> there really is a ton of content in the game. Um, what else did I want? Let's do some summons, actually, because why not? And you see the YouTube Premium on the bottom left-hand corner. By the way, if you haven't already, scan the QR code or click the link in the description to see, uh, to, to download. You can also see. You can see, you can see it as you download. Where are the, because we, of course, we can't do anything without summons, guys. We can't do anything without summons. But, uh, let's do, oh, this is all new stuff that we've gotten since... Uh, Call of the Arbiter reward. We should probably collect this. Absolutely ridiculous. I want to see what these uh, this gear is. Oh, I can't see it by clicking on it. Well, we can see it by collecting it. Uh, I'm too lazy to actually go in there, but I'm not too lazy to summon. That's we all know that. I don't want to do. I don't want to do the uh, the void just yet. We already have two. We have two void legendaries, I believe. So. Yeah, we get the tournament points the more you play. There's different tournament. Oh, we got a get an epic already. Nice. Yeah, let's do an extra 10 slots. I'm too lazy to move them. Anything shiny? Anything shiny? Or you just you're going to wait till the void to get us something shiny. Ah, eh, we got our epic before. Daily quest complete. Let's see. Oh, you really are going to wait till the epic. All right, White Dryad Nia. This is a new unit. What is that, Birch? Is that Birch that she's decided she's made out of? Anyway, that's Raid Shadow Legends. If you haven't already clicked on the link and scanned the QR code and all of that, click on the link, scan the QR code, play the game before June 17th. Play it sooner rather than later. Get your free um, YouTube Premium subscription and get entered to possibly win gaming console smartphone tons of gift cards you know the drill anyway that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed it and of course sponsored by Plarium. i will see you as always 
in the next one. 